All right, we rolling? Yeah, it should be. Let me double check. Take three. You good? Yeah, it's rolling. All right, so what we're doing today is we're gonna take these old white chalky antlers and dead heads and we're gonna try and restore them, give them some color back, try to make them look a little bit more like what they looked like when they were still alive. So you need a couple things for that. First you need steel wool, just lightly clean up the antlers, get rid of any rough spots, the chalky, chalky stuff will come off. Probably gonna want some gloves and then the most important thing, you need some dark roast coffee grounds. So I've got quite a few pots worth of coffee grounds right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the grounds and we're just going to work them all over the antlers. Then we got these little brushes, which we'll use to brush down near the burrs at the bases and that kind of thing. Then we'll let it sit overnight. I have to brush off whatever grounds didn't come off and then you hit it with a clear coat, which I have not gotten yet, but I'll have to get that. All right, I'll start with um, my two sheds I found here. I found both these in South Dakota. They're just uh, two small two small sheds. They're not a match set. This one's from a, it's a half rack of a whitetail I found in 2017. We were hunting public land out there. And then I found this mule deer, uh, year and a half old mule deer fork in 2018 when we were bow hunting on public land. Um, and I just brought these with me today um, just to see what how they turned out with the coffee grounds. and. Um, that's the story behind these two. This buck I found, uh, actually we're stalking another buck in South Dakota on public land in 2019. Uh, unsuccessful stalk, but we did pick this up, so. Got to fill a tag. Yeah, we got to fill a tag. All right, so step one, you wanna take your steel wool, just kind of brush the antlers a little bit. All right, so I got this one all cleaned up with the steel wool. So what I'm gonna do now is take my coffee grounds and just start working it in. Experiment with whatever kind of coffee you wanna work work with. But we're going with the dark roast here today. So an iced coffee with two shots of creamer from Starbucks would probably be fine? Yeah, if that's what you're into. Probably even got a brush in your purse. <laughs> Burrs on this sucker, tearing up my gloves. And that's why I didn't bring anything with any serious character down the bases. <laughs> that's why I just brought these little ones. I figured I'd be done and film for you guys. It's because Joe gets his wall hangers when he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. All right. So I got a bunch of coffee grounds worked in around the bases. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my little brush, you can use an old toothbrush or whatever you got, and basically use that to work it in all those burrs. Definitely seems like the more grooves and character on the deer, the better it takes. Yeah, this one, that one's hardly taking, this one's hardly taking anything on. And like, look at my bases, they're taking all sorts of yeah, the, where the lines and grooves are at, they're really taken on because you can cast like that shadow and everything. Yeah. I, mean, I guess it's darker than what it was, Tag. So look at it's they were definitely the same. darker, yeah. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to brush all these excess grounds off the best I can. Then we'll let it dry overnight. Might put a second coat on that one as well. Just to see if it gets a shade darker, didn't you say that? You're yeah. Gonna do that, so. One thing we're noticing too is like those older bucks with more character on them are taking the coffee a lot better than these smaller bucks that did you have steal relatively all those? smooth. Yeah, I did. Okay. It's one of the reasons I only find mature deadheads. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got one side hit with the coffee, and it makes a big difference. Looks like natural too. That's the thing. Angle. Over here, it looks you can definitely tell the difference. But mine almost looks completely natural at this point. So does Jim's left side. I mean, that's what you'd expect, like from a farm country box. Yeah. All right, so we got the grounds worked in pretty good. Got it, most of it brushed out. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And then we'll decide if I want to do a second coat on it or not. Brush whatever grounds are left on there off. And then, as far as the ends of the tines, we'll come back and hit it lightly with steel wool and at the antler tips if you want to lighten them up or give it a little more structure so it's just not solid the whole time just 
hit it a little harder in certain spots and it'll take the color down a little bit. Dyke South Dakota deadhead turned out pretty sweet. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good from chalky white like the skull from sitting out as a deadhead for who knows how many years. Now it's got some natural color back. Yeah, it turned out good. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Right the eyes. Right <laughs> <laughs> a four, a three-point drop time. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how it's come out. Oh yeah, it looks super cool. All right, so that's one coat down. I may do a second coat on this one just because it had been dead for who knows how many years, so it was really bleached white. So. Give it a second coat possibly and darken it up. We'll see how it looks when it dries. Tig's dead head here. I think this was only about a year old when he found it. So it still had some color, but the coffee grounds did darken it up really nice.